Hi guys, I hope that you're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel. I know that it has been quite a long time since you have seen my face on here. So I would like to take the time to thank you for your patience. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for sticking up with me and just really thank you for all your support, for your kind words, messages, comments. It really means a lot to me and I just really want to apologize to all of you for being absent for such a long time. But I am back now and I will be trying to keep posting twice per week. Enough with the talking, let's just go ahead and start with today's video where we are going to be talking about the new Sol de Janeiro Sherioza 59 Body Mist. This is the bottle right here and I will be honest with you guys, I was initially drawn into trying this scent because of the purple shade. I absolutely love the color. It's so so pretty i just love purple it's one of my favorite colors and when i saw this bottle i was like oh my god i need to try this it looks so gorgeous however when i went into store they didn't have a sample so i had to blind buy this one which was a little bit tricky for me because it has violet in here and when it comes to violet I'm a little bit picky with violet fragrances because if it's too strong if it's too overpowering i would usually not really enjoy it and anyways, I just decided to go for it because I absolutely loved the bottle. So the notes listed for this body mist on the Sol de Janeiro website are at the top, I think we have Poem with some sugared violets. Then in the middle, we have a new orchid and some amber. And in the dry down, there is sandalwood with some vetiver. And the main notes for this scent are the vanilla orchid with the sugared violet and sheer sandalwood. It says it right here on the back on the bottle and um i have to be honest i didn't really know what to expect when i blind bought it as i said i was a little bit scared because of the violet but when i sprayed it on my skin i just loved it instantly it's so so pretty ah i have been uh, obsessed with this one like i recently got it just like a few days ago and i have been spraying this one every evening, every morning, out of the shower, ever since I've got it. It's been three or four days since I've got it and this is all that I have been spraying on myself. Now what I mainly get from this fragrance is the violet with a lot of vanilla and just a little bit of sandalwood. The sandalwood in this fragrance I can definitely smell it but I don't find the scent to be too woody or too deep. It's a very smooth soft creamy scent with a lot of vanilla and just a hint of violet which I absolutely love. You can definitely smell the violet but it's not too strong, it's not too overpowering, it's not too much, at least to my nose and on my skin. The violet really gives off this sugary feel and it really reminds me of those sugary hard violet candies. I don't know if you have ever tried violet candies before, but this is what this reminds me of. It's delicate and soft and pretty it's not too sweet which i absolutely love you get this vanilla with a little bit of sandalwood and a hint of violet it is feeling a little bit sugary but it's not too gourmand in my opinion it's just very delicately balanced out you get this beautiful fluffy light airy vanilla scent with a hint of violet and sandalwood it's just absolutely gorgeous in my opinion this one really reminds me of Dama Bianca it's just a little bit sweeter in my opinion so if you love fragrances like Dama Bianca you would absolutely love and enjoy this body mist as well and I also think that this this reminds me of the Sherioza 40 which also kind of smells like Dama Bianca but this one just has like the violet note in here so imagine the Sherioza 40 the vanilla the same vanilla that is in there but just with a little bit of violet sweetness it's kind of what it smells like to me very similar to the 40 and it reminds me of Dama Bianca not the same but it does remind me of Dama Bianca I really really enjoy it I think it's very pretty feminine elegant soft and airy a little bit sweet just a little bit woody i have been wearing it non-stop these days and i have already come up with some amazing layering combinations which i will be sharing with you now so obviously the first layering combination that came to my mind was Sherry 59 with Dama Bianca these two are just meant to be layered together they just really smell very similar 
you get a lot of vanilla and violet in here. You have a beautiful vanilla with a hint of violet in Dama Bianca as well. It's light and fluffy and soft. And with the body spray, you just add a little bit of extra sweetness and deepness and they just work magically together. You definitely have to try these two if you have Dama Bianca and you're looking for something to layer her with, just get this one and it's just gonna make her a little bit stronger, a little bit sweeter, and you would get a little bit more violet in here as well. They just work beautifully together. So my next layering recommendation for you guys to try out is these two together, Oud Satin Mood with Cherry 59. You know how Oud Satin Mood is this very strong, polarizing, bold scent. It's very powerful and you just want to add something a little bit sweeter to it and this is just it's perfect it already has some violet in here but this one just really amplifies the sweetness and it just makes it a little bit sweeter especially at the beginning i think they work amazing together and for all the vanilla lovers this right here is just a match made in heaven this is extra sweet extra sugary vanilla orchid brown sugar amber and a little bit of violet and one of my favorite layering combinations so far with this body spray has been with musk palace by javoy this is a very beautiful clean musky fresh type of a fragrance it has iris it has peach it's very musky and fruity and light and airy it's just the perfect clean girl fragrance and layering it with the Sherry Rose 59 it just adds a little bit more sweetness it adds a little bit vanilla to it and it just makes it so beautiful sweet fruity musky gorgeous do you really need Sherry Rose 59 in your collection is it worth it i would say if you have Sherry Rose 40 in your collection you don't really need this one essentially because it's very similar to it they share pretty much the same notes vanilla orchid plum it has the same feel it's the same type of a vanilla very soft and light and airy and fluffy so it's essentially the same fragrance in my opinion it just has a added violet note to it it's very pretty, it's very elegant, it's soft and light and airy and delicate and delicious and it's very very likeable. This is an effortless type of a scent that you can wear anytime, anywhere, you will smell delicious, sweet and very very pretty but it's not overly sweet as well, it's just very very delicate. This is definitely a very soft, sensual scent, it sits close to the skin, I mean this is a body spray, you don't really expect it to be uh, too strong, but it's very very beautiful and I am really really loving it and enjoying it and I just love playing around with it. I'm excited to try some more layering combinations with this one, so if you have already tried it and you have some layering recommendations to share with me, definitely let me know down in the comments because I really want to um, play around with it a little bit more. I think it just goes well with so many fragrances. So this was all for today guys. All in all I have been really loving and enjoying this body mist so far. I think it's very pretty and sensual and feminine and sweet and smooth and creamy. Let me know down in the comments what are your thoughts on it. Are you loving it? Are you enjoying it? Thank you so much for watching and I really hope to see you next time.